explain to me what you're supposed to do one at a time and then perform it and explain what happens. First, um, first, we're rubbing the ruler with felt okay. to give it a charge. Okay, what kind of charge? Negative. Negative, okay. Yep. So we're rubbing, we're rubbing, it's got a negative charge. And then we hold it over the confetti and you see the confetti is attracted to it. I see it, uh, it, it jumps up and then jumps down again. What's going on there? Um, you see, the confetti isn't all positive. It's neutral, but uh -huh. because of the negative charge, the protons are being pulled like to the side of the confetti. The, the protons? Protons. The positively charged things are being pulled to the side. The protons? Yes. The protons are moving onto the atoms? No. Electrons. So what moves? Okay, the electrons are moving um, to the other side of them, the, um, the confetti, making half of it more positive and the other half more negative. Sure. So as it comes up, it'll flip over, and that's the negative side, and then it runs away because... Well, what's, what's, what's the charge that's on this, you said? Negative. negative. So when this touches it, what do you think happens to the negative charges that are on here when the paper touches it? What was the question? Right. <laughs> when you touch something with a negative charge, mm -hmm. where does the negative charge go? It's negative charges can move, right? Yeah. Yeah. So what you're telling me is you're telling me that when I look at this, I see this stand up. I see one side is up and one side's down. Mm -hmm. and you're telling me that this negative charge repelled those electrons to the other side, so the mm -hmm. positive side is attracted. But when it pops up here and those electrons love those protons so much, what do you think happens to the electrons that are sitting? The static electrons sitting on this, when it touches the protons, what do you think happens? Where do you think electrons go? They can move, right? Electrons yeah, move? They move towards the protons. So, they, so electrons come off the ruler and go onto the paper, making the paper negative all over, and then they repel the negative charge, repels the negative charge, and they fly away. So let's see that again. That's okay. Wait, why did this happen to the confetti if it didn't happen to like the um, salt and pepper? It's a different story. We'll, we'll go into that. Okay. We got to do one table. We got to do one table at a time. Glass rod works really good. Ooh. Well, what, what, all right. So what's next? I see him jumping up and down. Okay. So, so what's next? Whoa. The balloon. He's right. rubbed on Josh's hair and is gaining um, a negative charge from his hair. Hey, look at his hair standing up. What is his it? His hair is standing up. What charge? Oh. All right, so you take the balloon and see how it Oh, that is cool, isn't it? They're like jumping beans, Mexican jumping beans. Anyways, so they're being attracted. And it's the same, and and then, it's the same thing. And then what happens the, when they touch it? The um, electrons, electrons move, down, yeah, paper. move from the balloon to the paper, the paper becomes all over more negative, so it jumps back down. Not all of them, though. Not you all can, of them. Yeah, you go. So some of them. Okay. So now, what are you going to do? Um, uh, it's, charge on the it's positive charge on the glass rod. How do you know that? Because it's glass. And who, who tells you? Who tells you that glass gives a positive charge when... Mr. New. No, well, yeah. Ben Franklin. Ben Franklin told you that. And it's rubble silk. All right. And when we put it near the confetti... It all gets jumped. Now, why do you think all that confetti jumped up there now? What charge does that confetti that fell down have? Positive. Huh? Positive. Uh, negative. Why was it a negative charge? Because it touched the balloon and then bounced yeah, back. Yeah, the so the confetti picked up a negative charge from the balloon, fell back on the table, and what charge was the glass? And so opposites now it's gaining electron uh, electrons and making the glass neutral or negative, while the while the, while the confetti is becoming positive. Well, the the glass rod is still positive, and the confetti stays negative, because if it became positive, sharing, yeah. what would happen to the confetti if it became positive after it touched the glass rod? It lose electrons. No, no, no. What would happen to the confetti though? It fall. It would fly away. It would be repelled. All right. So, so. Let me go over this again. Do the balloon again, and notice notice what's happening with the balloon. Gosh. Yeah, you can he can have the paper. That's right. You just psh, psh, psh. yeah, just whack it. All right. So now, do the balloon again, and notice what we have happening with the balloon is we have the confetti is actually it is attracted to the balloon, and then it's blown away from the balloon. All right? You see that? 
it's like raindrops. So the electrons can move. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm telling you, the protons can't move off the glass. So now you get your glass and make the glass positive. You can take the balloon away. So a lot of these now are negative because they all got a negative charge from the balloon and then were repelled by it. So negative, same charges repel each other. Now you got a positive. Now what happens here? Put it in there. Now wait, wait, no, no, I said, now lift it up. Do they pop off? No. So they don't become positively charged, do they? Because the, the, the electrons are there. They're attracted, the negative charge of the, of the paper is attracted to the positive charge of the glass rod, but they don't shoot away because they don't, the paper does not become positively charged and then the two repel each other. The paper is still negatively charged and the glass rod is still positively charged.